here is a training on the uh, control uh, Delam DAC 360S. First of all, in the perimeter page, we can find uh, here the contrast of the screen and the brightness. If we go a little bit more down, we can uh, select inches or millimeters for the controller. This is the manual positioning for each axis. So here it's for the bag gauge. We can play with it with the arrow on your, uh, on your controller. This is the angle and this is the gap between your knife. If we go in manual mode, so manual mode, this is the uh, actual position of your bag gauge. When you want to cut something, you need to enter the material. So one, it's uh, steel, two, aluminum, and three, uh, stainless steel. After you need to put your thickness. So if you cut a quarter inch, you put 0.25. This is uh, how wide do you cut. So if you cut on only 20 inch, like this case, uh, the machine will do a stroke of about 25 inch to make sure that it cut the material so you don't waste any time. This is an offset for your material so if you're not against your uh, squaring arm you can put your, uh, your offset. So if you put 20 inch of offset the controller uh, add 20 plus 20 so it will cut a total length of 40 inches. This is the number of part that you want. If you leave it at zero, it will count up, like in this case. If you put a value, it will count down. So when the controller will arrive at zero, it will turn off. So you can't uh, cut too much part. This is your X axis position, so your back gauge. If you wanna cut on 12 inches or 10, just enter the value you want. After a cutting angle, gap, and stroke length, uh, the controller calculates those values. So depending on your material, your thickness, and how wide you cut. After um, automatic mode. So this is exactly like in manual mode. You need to put your material, thickness, this is your offset. So if you don't have any offset, you put zero. After that, this is the position of your back gauge. So if you cut, first one is 10. After how wide you cut. So if you cut on 10 feet, then cycle. Cycle is, if you put two, it will do two times the line one. If you put one, it will only do it once. This is your angle, gap, and the uh, how long it will cut. So this is all value that the controller calculate. If you want to add another uh, cycle, you go on the number, the last one, press enter, it will do a line number two. So you can put a different value of your bag for your bag gauge. And then after the cut number one, bag gauge will go at the cut number two, and then go back to one, two, one, two, like that. So this is the automatic mode. You can do a lot of uh, program. So like in the controller right now, we only have four. So if you wanna select the program number three, you go on it, press enter. And then here you can see number three. This is the program. If you wanna do a new one, you just select a line that it's empty, like number five, press enter, and now, Number five, you can do your own program.